हेलो फ्रेंड्स सतीश तिवारी हियर फ्रॉम मिथिकल हैकिंग ट्यूशन सेंटर जयपुर एंड यू गाइस आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल स्लैश रूट डॉट इन सो टुडे इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर प्रॉक्सी और प्रॉक्सी चैन इनसाइड द काली लिनक्स बाय डिफॉल्ट प्रॉक्सी चैन कॉन्फिगरेशंस आर ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल इन द काली लिनक्स मशीन लेट्स लॉग इन फर्स्ट सो लेट्स लॉग इन विद द रूट यूजर पासवर्ड इज रेड हैट ओके सो लेट मी ओपन द टर्मिनल first of all we need to open the terminal and in the terminal we need to install the tor browser if it's not installed you need to install it manually through the command prompt so let me check up install tor okay why yes so our task will be first of all install the tor browser done so first the step done after installing the tor browser we need to configure a file uh, that is proxy chain configuration file by default they are inside all the linux uh, all the kali linux machine okay so i am going inside the vim editor so vim etc proxy chain proxy chain proxy chains 4.com so this is the configuration file for proxy chain now you can go inside this proxy server and you can find so many lines remember always remember this there are total four types of proxy the first one is you can see dynamic chain there are four types of proxy chain dynamic chain you can see in dynamic chain each connection will be done via chain proxies all proxy chain in the in order okay if anyone disappear that proxy will not work okay so if you are working if you have selected dynamic chain and out of there are so many proxies between server and client so out of this so many proxies if any proxy missing this proxy will not work this chain will not work okay now strict chain each connection will be done via a chain proxy all proxy chain in the order okay so strict chain will follow the order so you can see strict chain is by default on comment so first of all we will uh, go through this one there is another one that is round robin chain uh, that one is not so much important you can read it and the random chain random chain will connect make the connection via random proxy okay so it will randomly choose its proxy server uh, or it, it will not follow any sequence so by default we have selected this one right now strict chain which is by default so i have removed uh, already removed the hash from the strict chain go to the last line and add one more line so let's go to the last line everything okay okay so here add one more line socks s o c k s 5 the ip address lubeck address which is 127.0.0.1 and the port 9050 which on which proxy chain working okay and then save it save it so done after this you need to check the status of your tor so how to check the status service tor status sorry service tor my spelling mistake service tor status okay so let's see so you can see inactive and dead okay so you can see it's inactive and dead so it means proxy server is not Uh, right now it's not started okay so let's start it so proxy server start run this command okay now check the status again okay so you can see now it's active okay so proxy server is right now active now once it's active you can check it how you can check or how you can use this proxy let's see for example i am going to show you how to use proxy chain so proxy chain c h a i n proxy chains okay and then you can use the firefox browser so firefox and then the website you want to open so i want to open google.com suppose firefox proxy chains firefox www.google.com and let's see 
and you can see it's some mistake because it means strict follow the strict rules so in this chain you can see some uh, proxies are not working some proxy servers are not working so you have to change the configuration so let's go to the configuration file and here it is let's go at the top so by default we are using a strict chain so let's comment out the strict chain because it's not working because you no know, it's follow the strict rule all proxy servers in the chain must be in order if there is if any server is missing any proxy server is missing or not in order it will not work okay so it's some proxy is missing here so we will comment out this line and then i am going to use the dynamic chain okay so just remove the hash before dynamic chain and save it okay now service store restart okay now service store status let's check the status okay active now again run the command proxy chain firefox google.com and here it is it's working so it will be a little slow because you are going through so many proxies and you can see it's working and you can see a different language here okay you can see a different language so <clears throat> because we are connected to a different server okay so if you type what is my public ip you can see you can run this command to see what is your public ip it's showing something else you can see 185 this one okay and it's showing some different location and different ip it means your ip address has been hidden you are anonymous right now okay so if you are using this technique you can hide yourself you can be anonymous and in this way you can configure proxy chain inside your kali linux machine i hope you guys understand if still you have any doubt you can ask me through the comment section okay guys so if you want to grow this channel please like share and subscribe okay thank you thank you for watching